Hi guys, this is James from DBG and welcome to the first of the product reviews that was the, of the products we got when we went to uh, Salute. And this is also going to be the monthly um, DBG giveaway. Um, it is a day late, as I think I explained in a previous video. I was away for the weekend, so I didn't get back um, in time to make any videos earlier yesterday, which was Sunday. So we're going to be doing the giveaway today. Now the giveaway is these two boxes here. There'll be two winners, so one of you will win the British Airborne section and one of you will win the German Infantry section. Now, these were kindly donated to us by um, Osprey Games and these are artisan design miniatures um, distributed through North Star um, military figures, which it says down there. Now, um, North Star are putting together packs of um, artisan miniatures into squads. And these are the first two. So we're very lucky. They've only just started doing these, so we're very lucky to get these. And so you'll be very lucky to win these. So without further ado, let us open them up and see what they look like. On the back, you can see some expertly painted versions of these miniatures. And as you can see, they are all individually named. As you see, you've got a nice mix of uh, rifles, submachine guns, and the ubiquitous Bren gun. These are 156 um, scale or 28 millimeter, so they are perfect for bolt action or chain of command or any other 28 millimeter World War II game out there. Now, they come in these handy bubble wrap boxes, and on the back they have some pictures of the American set that's coming out very soon. So that's very safe and very sturdy. Now, I can tell you already, I don't think these come with bases, which is a bit disappointing, but some miniatures just don't, some manufacturers just don't do that. So, here we have the miniatures. I'll just put them into view. This is the first time I've actually handled um, artisan miniatures. So let's have a look at them. There we go. This guy's got the, uh, the M filter number four. These are very well um, sculpted and cast. There is obviously some flash you can see there on the bases. And yeah, there's a little mold line down going down the seam of the trousers there. But that's very good. And then we've got a guy with a sten. Okay, big bit of flash there. That's very nice. This guy here appears to be armed with a Thompson. No, I didn't think the Paros had Thompsons. Um, maybe it can be used for Paros that were in um, North Africa and Tunisia and Sicily, because I believe they had Thompsons there. I don't think they had the Sten just then. There's those five. Now, on to the next five. As you can see, they do come well packed in bubble wrap and Ziploc bags. There we go. All right, here's the Bren Gunner. As you can see, there's lots and lots of detail on these miniatures, lots of character. And those Dillison smocks are going to paint up really nicely. Another the Sten gun. And some more guys with helmets, which is far more practical than the uh, Red Devil's berries. Just put those to one side. And now we're going to look at the German Panzer Grenadiers. They come in the same sort of box. And on the back, again, Everyone is individually named. So if you want to carry that forward in your games, that's all on focus. If you want to carry that forward in your games, that's uh, well up to you really. And as you can see, there's lots of different ways of painting them. They've got, some have got splinter camo. This guy here has got, um, uh, I think that's uh, oak leaf, or even water camo, or even Italian, which was very highly sought after towards the end of the war. And again, on the inside, there's the Soviet box set that's going to be coming out soon. 
I only get one bag in this one, as soon as on. But as you can see, all 10 pounds of grenadiers are in there. Oops. Right. As you can see, you've got a nice mix. You've got an MG42, you've got loads of K9, well, most of them are having K98 rifles. And this guy is clearly the NCO with his MP40. As you can see, the quality is still top notch from focus. Um, in comparison with the, uh, the Paras. There's a guy with an MG42. There we go. These are all clearly late wars because they're all wearing parkas and most of them have helmet covers. This guy here seems to have a rifle grenade on the end of his rifle, which is very cool. And the late pattern trousers. So as you can see, these miniatures are very good. They are perfect for whatever 28mm game you intend to play. So, how do you get your hands on these two sets of miniatures? Do not worry, I will pack them up and put them back in the cases very nicely. Well, apart from the fact you don't get bases, these are very good. I do not know how much they retail at, but I would imagine they'll be on a par with bolt action of all your games. Um, 15 pounds for 10 miniatures, which is pretty good. <coughs> So, how can you win these? Very simple. <coughs> what you need to do is obviously be subscribed to our channel. Um, there'll be links in the description to Osprey, Artisan and Northstar figures. So if you can like those, that will be really helpful for everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and all we need to do is pop a comment down below just saying British or German and then in a week's time, which will be a Bank Holiday Monday, I will do the, uh, the announcement video on Bank Holiday Monday. Um, they'll be picked at random out of my um, tin hat of luck, and one person will win Grenadiers, and one person will win the Paris. So that's all we need to do. Again, all we need to do, I will say it again, is uh, subscribe, um, like Devil's Paintbrush. So, there was much gaming um, and then pop a comment saying British or German and I'll pick a winner for each of them on Bank Holiday Monday. So as usual guys, I hope you found this useful. Do check out the websites I'm going to put in the description and uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.